Okay, everybody. Don't screw this up. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Hello. Hello, absent students. This is your teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Accounting Nerd presents. All right. So we have uh, sold merchandise on account to Adrian Makowski, $800 plus sales tax, $48 for a total of $848, sales invoice, $104. So obviously the first thing we do is the date. We got September 1st, just like on all the other journals. Account being debited. So this is who we are selling the stuff to. And that is Adrian <coughs> Makowski. We are selling it on account using sales invoice 104. So sale number 104. Then we have uh, our three boxes to figure out what we're doing. So someone walk me through what numbers are going where. Uh, talk me through it, Tori. Oh, okay. Um, your $848 is going to the receivables. Good. Uh, the $800 goes under the sales number. Good. And then $48 goes under sales. Good. So... This is what you, or this is what they owe you, 848. The amount the sale was was $800, and you had to charge them $48. Next one says, on the 11th, we sold merchandise on account to Columbus City Schools, 875. Columbus City Schools is exempt from sales taxes. Sales invoice 105. So we're going to have the date. The who. Columbus. Columbus City Schools. It is sales invoice 105. And it's eight seventy five total because it was an eight seventy five sale, and there is zero taxes. Yes, please put a line through the taxes so you know you didn't forget. One oh five. All right. The last one says sold merchandise on account to Swiss Delight 1460 plus sales tax 8760 for a total of 154760 sales invoice 106. Uh, this is happening on the 28th and it's a sale on account. So you put the 28th. It's Swiss Rolls Delight. Sales invoice 106. The sale number is 1460. That's how much we sold on account. The sales tax is 8760. And so the total amount that they owe us is fifteen forty seven sixty. So you should always be able to see and make sure that this number is either the biggest number or it's tied for the biggest number. So the ACREC debit will always be the largest number or tied for the largest number. Now that we have that, uh, we have to total it up. So do one line under the columns. 
on the 31st. Right, totals. Is it 30th? That's what I wrote. Ha. So, uh, please total up the ACK REC debit sales credit and sales tax payable credit right now. Why do you guys do that? I'm going to do educational stuff. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I know. I know. All right, what's the total of the ACK REC debit? What is it? Good. What's the total of the sales credit? 31.35. And the total of the sales tax payable? <laughs> One thirty-five sixty. Whoop. Okay. The last thing you have to do is total up your debits and your credits. So down here, list your ACREC debit, 32, 70, 60. List your sales credit, 31, 35. List your sales tax payable, 135, 60. And then you're going to add up the debits and add up the credits. I'll do the debits real quick. <laughs> Bless you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Because then um, they're looking at like cash flow, money coming in, money going out. The difference between the two, like if you're spending more money than you make, you got problems. If you're not saving enough to retirement, you got problems. Yeah, no, that is cool. Uh, all right. When you do that, 327060. Okay. Logan, get your finger out of your nose. <laughs> 